Hey guys. There's no water just door. All that shit in the bottom there. That's what's going in your body. Biofilm and shit. And it's a uh, sorry. I gotta get to. Uh, it turns into a uh, a shell. Yeah, you can literally pick this shit up. It's like eggshell. Now you can't see its fucking fingers. Anyway, sorry guys. It's hard for me to do with this, but it's like eggshell. This goes in your body, it's biofilm, look at the slime. All right? And the eggshell. Sorry guys. It's like eggshell, man. That goes in your body, and then uh, you get sick. Anyway, this is a, that's a P950, that's a P900, P1000, some books. I don't do uh, the mental side very well, right? The unethical systematic method of mind control and manipulation used to persuade you to conform and obey to the design demands of your oppressors. This undermines and destroys your own sacred values and beliefs and soul. Because you're in a soul farm. That's what you're doing to us, man. Right? Yep. We warned you. Vaccine mandates, passports, lockdowns, perpetual lockdowns, rampant inflation. Anyway, that's what we got going on here today. Other than a world of lies, full of bullshit and grifters. Hang on a sec, guys. I got my gear on here. Anyway, so, uh, bear with me here. Everything's a goddamn lie in this fucking world. Pardon me for swearing, but... Those are my books. Some of them. So, uh, you can have as many books as you want. Writing papers, and... I got all kinds of shit here, man. I've been doing this for fucking decades. This is my third book collection, by the way. What they're doing to us is, uh, is uh, insanity. Everything in our fucking life is a lie, okay? People don't even know what the hell is going on here. You know, I've been uh, talking with uh, a good uh, guy who's really awake um, lately. Just communicating through chats on uh, YouTube. Uh, Scott Scott Snitzer. He's got a YouTube channel. He just took down all his videos. He's a kind of one of these targeted individual kind of pros. He doesn't like to go by that name because everybody's kind of targeted sort of thing. So anyway, um, yeah, I've been doing a lot of uh, looking into this stuff, but if you realize. Okay, first of all, Hitler was basically Jewish, okay? Mm. 
Martin Luther King did not die. He was black nobility. Okay. John Lennon's fake death. Okay. Oh, the bullshit Lincoln assassination. That's another one. These are thick papers, by the way. Uh, oh, here's another one. The Sharon Tate Manson murders. That's another crock of poop. Right, that was to destroy the hippie movement and any kind of freedom thoughts that you thought you were getting. Right, that was another one. Oh yeah, Sharon Tate lived with uh, Roman Polanski, I think in Monaco after her death. Uh, Marilyn Monroe, another fake death. Right, uh, she lived with Joe DiMaggio, I think in Brazil or something like that after her death. JFK was gay. That entire fucking assassination was a total psyop, 110%. MLK, RFK, uh, uh, JFK, all staged uh, deaths. Um, RFK and uh, JFK, they're Irish royalty. And it uh, gets into those uh, Illuminati bloodline families, whatever the hell you want to call them. There's bloodlines above them as well. That's the 13 ones. <coughs> Pardon me, the 13 Illuminati bloodlines with that Fritz Springmar, which is several versions of that fellow around too. That would be this book. Oops. 13 families of the Illuminati, right? That's a big book. Anyway, then, uh, you can get into all these grifters on the YouTubes and stuff like that. You know, I don't do uh, any of these big channels. Um, you know, e even, uh, you know, there's a lot of people that got 70, 80,000 subscribers and stuff like that. I, I don't pay too much attention to these guys. And especially when they're talking about anything that's got to do with the 138 year bullshit. And because I'll tell you right now, you can make up whatever fucking lies you want. You got all the books. I've got fucking books here that could come up with whatever timelines you want. So you can. I don't do archaics at all. One zero, zero, and that's not not that's not no six 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 shit. Zero. I don't do any of that bullshit. And um, this whole world is bullshit. This you know what. I hear Egypt was uh, developed in the 1800s, right? Basically, uh, that's when they made that shit show up. If you follow, uh, oh shit, there's a few guys out there that got some I got some great videos on how they rebuilt Egypt. The whole thing is a psyop. Anyway, uh, yeah, we did Jack Ruby. That's another one. See, this is why they. Sh Oswald was the second cousin to goddamn JFK. How do you think he got back in the country after defecting to the Soviet Union, and then coming back to the, uh, and working with the microwave division in uh, uh, the Soviet Union, and then coming back to the United States and not being tried as a traitor? Well, I tell you why, because RFK was the uh, Attorney General at the time. The only time you can get back into the country is get a signature by the Attorney General of the United States. Well, that just happened to be a second cousin as well because Lee Harvey Oswald is related to these guys. The whole thing is a shit show, right? That gets into this great big thick version of the bullshit JFK assassination. I'm not going to go through every page, right? Hitler's genealogy, that's right. They're everywhere, man. Um, I've got more and more papers on this stuff. and I can go on. The thing is, what are you doing here? Because we're not from here. Okay, if I was to take off my fucking clothes, pardon me for swearing, and go outside, I'd freeze my ass off. But the squirrels and everybody, they don't pay no rent, they don't pay for food, they don't pay for nothing. But meanwhile, I'm basically a GMO slave, right? And uh, what version of mankind am I at this time? Because, I mean, there was giants running around here in the 1800s, right? So, I mean, come on, man. You know, this is a joke. Right? And then we're just a knockdown version of whatever we had before and the food they feed us and, and whatever you want to call that if you want to call that food, right? And uh, all the bullshit, right? That you got to put up with in this world. It's, 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 it's an energy farm, okay? Anyway. 
So, uh, the thing is, I believe that our own personal heart, like it says in the Matrix, all oh, that's gazillion um, megawatts of juice coming out of our power and right in here, right? And then uh, it gets into this weird shit. Hang on a second, guys. Don't mind me. It's a good way. Basically, what you are is like the Morpheus said, right? So you're, see that? A copper top. Y your blood's full of ore, iron ore. These guys have been working on mind control techniques since the 1700s, even if not before. And they've been just, this is where they put metal in your, all your foods. Nothing out there is GMO. Eating vegetarian will kill you, okay? I did it for about five years and it knocked the shit right out of me, okay? I lost a lot of good strength that I had and I've gone back to a more uh, uh, carnivore diet and that's what I'm focusing on right now. The psyops are incredible when they're out there and they're 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 everywhere. That freaks me out this fucking thing. Anyway, neither here nor there. Here we go. The, uh, the, the life that we're living is a slave system and they don't need you for your money because even like my older brother's home has been paid for for 35, 40 years in Oakville, Ontario. He's uh, been a postie for 40 years. He's still at 68 years old, working at the post office. And he wants to work till he's 70 years old. And I'm saying, dude, you should retire. He says he's got bills to pay. Da, 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 da. He's got his own grandkids and stuff like that too nowadays. So, I mean, I know what he's all about, but the guy should have retired 10... Nobody should have to work like that for an entire lifetime and then walk out of it with nothing. Because if you don't pay your property taxes, you got officially 72 hours to move out. Okay? That gets good because it gets kind of weird and biblical because from the information that I've got, they, uh, Jesus spent three days in the tomb. And it's just kind of like, I'm, don't get me wrong, I'm not a religious fella. I don't do religion at all. I'm kind of a spiritual Joe. And, um, I don't do a biblical Jesus. My 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 version of Jesus is much more different than what these friggin' books tell you. Because these books, all they tell you is to worship the demigod. Right? Anyway, I'm not going to get into the end of it. Um, you better study what's going on here. I mean, everybody is walking around with pink sunglasses on. I can't stay in this world anymore. I go out my door. I was talking to somebody on the phone a half an hour ago, and um, I don't own a cell phone, by the way, six years now, um, and they were Markham, and she was telling me uh, the amount of people that are wearing masks in Markham freaked her out. It was like, she couldn't believe it. She actually told me, it was one of the first things she told me on the phone. Anyway, but this is three years later, and these idiots are still wearing a, a a face device. It's, it's actually a noxious device. Section 82 of the Criminal Code of Canada says wearing one of these damn things, right? Is a, It's a noxious device. Goes against your Canadian Bill of Rights, which you don't have. Because Canada never had a constitution. Neither did the United States. If you really take a look at it, I got a video on my rumble. Uh, Tommy Rogers. It's about a five-hour video, but it gives you the breakdown of the uh, the 13 colonies and all this stuff. And basically, what happened in North America was uh, a genocide of the North American Native Indians that were here. That's about it. These guys have been at it no good since day one, and they've been teaching everybody you're just a, 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 an idiot, right? living on some spinning ball going through time and space at 66.6 thousand miles a minute at down a 23.4 degree angle on its axis to give you spring, winter, summer and fall. These are 66.6. It's a shit show. I call it a flat flick fixed plane, more like a realm. And I've had to learn how to walk fucking five times since I got shit out into this nightmare. All right? 
Fuck, man. I guess I gotta fucking show you. Why not I'm fucking passionate about this shit? Because I'm tired of drinking shitty water. Right? And I'm tired of fucking learning how to fucking walk again. Right? That's my right thigh. Nice, eh? This is my left thigh. All the way fucking down. 22 inch steel plate. 100 and some odd screws. That's my fucking shin. That's right down the bone. That's the back of my legs. Because when you fucking got no fucking movement, they start fucking rotting. You know? And I was in a coma for almost... I was in a coma for almost two months. And, uh, that was another one. But... I've had to learn how to fucking walk five times since I got crapped out in this goddamn nightmare. And I'll tell you right now, I don't put up with bullshit. None of it. And I'm tired of these fucking weirdos trying to tell me what the hell's going on with my life and how the fuck I'm supposed to live it. Right? When they lied about everything. Right? Take a look at the meltology. Melted buildings. Right? Your beaches, red bricks. Your breaches are filled in with the old buildings from the old world, man. This is just from the beach, but they rebuild the, <laughs> they take back the land from the water and they build beaches and shit. Anyway, I don't know, sorry if I got excited. So I got five copies of Book of Enoch. You want, I got all kinds of Giants books, you know, by some good writers and some shitty writers. Anyway, I got books. I got books coming out my yin yang. Okay, guys. Much love, and I uh, hope you're having a good day. I didn't mean to crap on your morning, but you better figure out what the hell you're doing here, man. Honestly, because this place is a shit show, and it's nothing but a soul farm. Once you start realizing what's going on here, they're, they're taking your juice to power our reality. Right? And this gets into the interdimensional aspect of things, but we see less than 4% visible light. So where are we? Hey guys, I love you. Take care. God bless you. And have a good day. Peace, man. Ciao. Oh, by the way, I may as well show you. Since I got you. I talk about JFK. This up. Yeah. The game the, the the shit show we live in is a clusterfuck. Okay. Well, that's Scott Snyder's uh, new video. This is uh, Timmy Rogers on Facebook. But, because my other real, f my Facebook of 12 years, or was 12 years when they shut it down. But, um, okay, JFK. Okay, he was hooked on methamphetamine with Dr. Feelgood, you see? He had a lifetime lover, Kirk Lemoyne Billings, the guy in the center there. So that'd be JFK on the right, and and uh, Kirk Lemoyne Billings on the left. Now Kirk Lemoyne Billings is claiming he's the uh, descendant of George Washington. Okay, there's the two boys there, Frick and Frack. Okay, lifetime lovers. There's JFK with a, with a wife. She loved it because there's JFK and his lifetime lover, Kirk Lemoyne Billings there, right? There they are there when he was in the Navy. Okay, they're together. He lived in the White House with these guys for three years while he was president. There's the two of them again. Okay, there we go. Is that Bobby? There's Jack and, or, yeah. And uh, Kirk Lemoyne Billings again when they were little boys. These guys have been together their whole life. You see? They're all queers. This one here is a good picture because they're wearing the same kind of pants. Right? These two, you see this is in the White House. Kirk Lemoyne Billings and JFK. May as well be holding hands. There's the two of them there as kids. Right? There's that image. Boy, girl, boy, girl, boy, boy, with the same shorts. You follow me? There we go. Godlike. JFK, Kirk and Wayne Billings. Oh, 
little slip there. Okay, guys, that's what I'm getting on about. The whole world is a goddamn fucking lie. So once you figure that out, you're getting somewhere. Okay, I love you. Take care of yourself and God bless. Uh, peace for now.